once again today july the 12th on this sunday i want everybody to know that we are uh, missing uh joined together uh, we are planning this wednesday to have a uh, parking lot service uh, we'll probably start at 7 p.m uh, this wednesday uh, so we can at least see you and we will ask everybody please stay in your vehicles and uh i will talk more about that on wednesday night but we're looking forward to that coming up this week and then hopefully uh, next sunday we will be able to have a uh, in-person service uh, in the sanctuary uh, we do have um, on the 24th of this month brother semester narlock who's going to be uh, doing a in time prophecy seminar on Friday night, and then he'll be with us on that Sunday, uh, the 26th, the 24th on a Friday night, and Sunday the 26th, Brother Narlock will be with us Sunday morning and Sunday night, so we're looking forward to that. If you have your Bibles today, I want to keep you very long, Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10, it says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you. I'm asking God that you would help us today. God, speak to somebody's heart. In your precious name, I give you the glory and the honor. Touch those that are sick today that are recovering. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you. Uh, you can sit down or stay standing or uh, keep driving your car or whatever you're doing today. I'm going to just speak for us just a little bit on this subject. Hindsight is 2020. Hindsight is 2020. Uh, 2020 doesn't seem to be a very uh, good uh, term as far as numbers goes these days. Some people are wanting to forget. 2020, but I'm talking about 2020 vision, perfect eyesight. They say that hindsight is 2020. I don't know if you've ever been involved in a <clears throat> automobile wreck. I remember several years ago, we was driving from uh, Mount Carmel, Illinois, over to Princeton, Indiana in March. My kids were young. In fact, Andrew was in the very back listening to Odyssey. He jumped over the seat, and it wasn't a short time later, a vehicle in front of me had stopped. Uh, suddenly, I stopped, but the guy behind us did not see me stop, and he was going about 55, 60 miles per hour and pounding the back of our minivan. Uh, as the ambulance came and took my wife and Andrew to the hospital, and me and Aaliyah and Landon were uh, beat up and cut and bruised, uh, hurting as they went away in the ambulance and I was it immediately it began to hit me what if we was not here at this time what if I had decided to go a different road what if I had decided uh, to go a different route uh, what if and, and uh, how many things in in our lives uh, we get into the middle of something whether it's a wreck or a relationship or uh, it could be a, n a number of things and after some time we think wow if I would have had hindsight I probably wouldn't have went that direction or I wouldn't have went that way I believe today and God uh, put this in my spirit and I don't know who it's for but uh, whoever is watching uh, I believe there are many people thousands of people today that are in the middle of situations that you wish that you was not a part of. There's people that are suffering from emotional, uh, verbal, and physical abuse. And I pray somehow today that God would speak to you, give you a way of escape. Uh, God would talk to you and let you know that uh, he has got your back. He is going to stand with you. Uh, he's going to help you to get out of this situation. 
there were backsliders maybe watching this, that you were involved uh, in a situation. You're, you're wondering how in the world uh, you, you're on the path that you're on. I've come to tell you today that God uh, sees exactly where you're at. Uh, he has uh, uh, perfect hindsight. He knows the end from the beginning, and he will make a way of escape for you. A man of God came to King Jeroboam back in uh, 1 Kings chapter 13, 300 years, at least 300 years before Josiah was born. And he told Jeroboam, he said, there's going to be a child born named Josiah. He's going to tear down the altars. 300 years before Josiah was born, God uh, knew what was going to happen. Uh, hundreds of years before Jesus was born, Isaiah the prophet said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor of the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, uh, the Master of the Universe, the Maker of all things, God that spoke this world into existence. Uh, he has a master plan. Uh, he not only has <coughs> perfect uh, hindsight vision, he has a master plan for you and I, and more importantly, for the church. The church <coughs> is going to be called out of here. He has a plan for us. Uh, he has uh, mansions prepared for us. Uh, and today, I'm telling you <coughs> that God has a plan for you. Uh, he understands all the pain that you're going through. Uh, the pain that is caused by humans. It's caused by relationships. Uh, he, he, you, you don't know how you got where you're at. Uh, if you just had that, that hindsight, you wouldn't be there. But you're there. Uh, God wants you to know today uh, that he can take away every bit of pain. Uh, if you're suffering from pain from humans, I've come to tell you, that's not the will of God. Uh, God wants you to rise up today and say, you know what? Uh, I'm tired of this relationship. I'm tired of going down this path. Uh, I'm going a different direction. We must feel God's love. Uh, wherever we're at, <coughs> we should feel the love of God. From people that we talk to, from people in the church, we should feel the love of God. The Bible says every good gift and every perfect gift cometh from above. It cometh down from the Father of lights. Job said it this way. He said, but he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. I don't care what path you seem to be on right now. I don't care what way uh, you decided to take and and you may be questioning, what, why am I here? Where are you at, God? I promise you, God sees where you're at. Uh, and he will help you through this. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such is as common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Uh, I don't know why I feel so strong today that God uh, is going to make a way of escape for you uh, to feel like that you're in a place uh, that you can't get out of. Uh, God is going to make a way of escape. Uh, I believe it's Revelation chapter 2. Uh, it talks about the hidden manna. God is going to give you uh, uh, an answer. God's going to give you a, a way to get out. Uh, you're going to wake up tomorrow. Uh, it's going to happen one of these days. Uh, you're going to wake up uh, and God is going to make a way of escape for you. Uh, why? Because uh, that's the kind of God we serve. Uh, we serve a God that declares uh, the end from the beginning. Uh, when Abraham was getting ready to sacrifice his only son, uh, 
God had a ram caught uh, in the thicket. Uh, God always has a way. Uh, he always makes a way of escape. Uh, and I've come to tell you today, uh, hallelujah, to understand that God, uh, trust God. God has that uh, uh, perfect hindsight. Uh, he lives in that. Uh, he lives uh, in that perfect vision. Uh, but we as humans, we make mistakes. We go down the wrong path. Uh, but we can just turn and trust and put all our confidence uh, in God Almighty. God bless you today and, and look forward to seeing you again real soon. Have a great